it's been a long time since I've made a video, but tonight in the new house and the new garage, I figured I'll go ahead and make the first actual daily to track car video at the house. And today I'm going to do a little bit of wiring work for the electric fan and uh, start routing some of the, the, the rest of the uh, boost lines that I've got. So let's get to it. <laughs> Soon to be Mrs. TT Boosted, which haven't actually revealed that yet. So, there's the reveal. We have a date set for uh, two and a half years from now, so definitely excited about that. She's actually uh, looking at cakes, <laughs> looking at cakes and decorations and stuff. So, I haven't showed you guys the new lighting. Bought some new LED lights. He doesn't make us strong. He doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like sharp preteens. I could only breathe. figure out how I'm going to route them through all this wiring down through around into this harness here and then uh, up to the new auxiliary fan and then I'm going to run them I'm just going to run them off of a switch inside <clears throat> so when I go out to the track or whatever I can actually just flip the switch and uh, help it cool down a little bit more so I'm going to start getting this uh, all ran and figure out how I'm going to Run it through the harness. what polarity I need to run this fan to get it to push through to help cool it down so I'm gonna use the vape trick So now I know I need to run blue positive, black negative. factory harness and I can get this all tucked away all nice and neat now I do still have to run my negative wire here and actually I think I may just end up running it a lot of metal shavings uh, may just end up running a negative wire up to I have a uh, negative post right here for my negative battery cable for the relocation. That's probably what I'll end up doing, just running the negative up there and then uh, that way I can tuck all this uh, away nice and neat make it look literally as factory as possible. Um, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to tidying some of this up and run some wires inside. <clears throat> Last night after I got some of this wiring ran, um, <clears throat> but I got it all ran. Let me move some of this cardboard out of the way here. Got all the wiring ran back in the factory location. Um, looks pretty much stock. I mean, I just probably should have ran this underneath the uh, crash bar, but <clears throat> got that all ran. And then uh, <coughs> this morning, you guys remember I actually had uh, this pipe here <clears throat> running up from the uh, turbo inlet. So what I actually did, I cut a uh, steel piece of pipe at a 90 and then put a uh, 90 coupler on there. <clears throat> goes perfectly to the mass airflow sensor. And uh, what I can do, I, what I actually did, I cut the uh, flange for the uh, mass airflow out of the factory air box. And I'm going to make a box out of fiberglass. And uh, <clears throat> I'll actually uh, fiberglass that to the um, box. And then I'm going to fiberglass this to the flange as well. And I'll end up cutting this right around here so I can put a uh, pod filter on there. So basically the box is going to be set up pretty similar to that. It's going to be a little bit taller and curved down so I can run some sealer on or some seal on it. To, so it's going to be cold air coming straight in from the front end straight up into the filter. One thing I actually did not do last night, like I said I was going to, I did not end up running uh, any of the wiring inside. They're still on the spools because I need to get <clears throat> the prongs, the female prongs for my switch for the electric fan. And I also uh, <clears throat> need to finish my center console but I need fiberglass to do that. So, I'm just going to leave the spools in there for now. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this little bit of the episode for Daily to Track Car. <clears throat> this is basically just a, a short, kind of tedious work <clears throat> until I get the money to you know, get the rest of the stuff that I actually need, including the uh, thermostat housing and all the fiberglass material to actually build everything <clears throat> so hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video